Hi everybody, it's the Gopher here. Um, I haven't made a video for a few few months um, since a lot of the uh, old ways that were very difficult and I used to make videos to help people out um, have gone and there's lots of easier ways of doing things now. There's the new 3.6.0 version of Mo Creatures out at the moment by Dr. Zark, who's a, a modding god. Um, and there's lots of people that are having troubles with trying to run it, so I'm going to help you um, with a quick installation guide on single player and multiplayer now. I'm not brilliant by any means, but I have got it running, so hopefully I'll be able to help you guys out. Now, first of all, you'll need to go to the Doctor's Arcs page, and a lot of you will already be there because you're looking at my video online rather than on YouTube. Now, go down and you'll see this piece here, download the mod. Now you'll need to download four bits plus the mod itself. So grab yourself the mod 3.6.0, don't forget with the ads, click it, go to it. Actually I'll show you just so as you know what you're doing. So you go into here and you go like, oh my god I don't want all this stuff. Just wait until this little piece in the corner goes down to zero seconds and then you click, click zip skip add, excuse me, skip add and that will then do one or two things depending on what, what browser you're using um, it'll either direct you here uh, or it will just start downloading it at the bottom so grab that, grab mod loader, the latest version now Forge, I'm using a different version to some other people um, one person gets 0.94, next person gets 9.0 as long as it works, it doesn't matter what version you got, really. I mean, try and keep up with the latest one if you can. Um, you'll understand a little bit in a minute when I show you. Um, grab the latest GUI. Uh, the GUI API is the one where you can set what creatures are going to spawn, what rates, how many, which, if you've got a, a slower PC, this will help you because you can actually bring down the amount of creatures that are being spawned in your game, um, which can lag you out. And you'll need custom mob spawner. Um, now, this isn't going to be thrown into the... Uh, the jar, this goes actually into the mods folder. So that's that's what you'll need for your um, single player. Now if you want to get the, the multiplayer you'll need to grab this one here, the SMP version, and forge the server version of the forge. Okay. Now rather than sit here and do all that, here's what I've got earlier. I'll show you the two folders, excuse me. These are my two folders. Now you download these, these are the five that I just told you to get and we will now put that into your bin okay now if you're gonna do a multiplayer it's you use the same files you do the same thing it's just that we've got to make the server end of it okay so go into your bin open up your jar file I'll have to move this around so that you can see it okay now first of all the deadly meta inf in single player you need to delete that okay now this is real simple all you do mod loader okay grab the whole lot, drag it in, OK. I'm not going to take my time on this because these videos get big if you leave them for a while. OK, next up you'll want to do um, your Minecraft Forge. So click on Forge, go down to the bottom, hold Shift, click on the bottom one, drag them all in. Don't worry about it if it's got um, little text files in there. That won't make any difference. OK, so it's Forge. You now need your GUI which is the piece where you can set what spawns chuck that in it's a big boy so that will take a little bit of time to go in and say OK all in next one you'll need is the custom mob spawner and Dr. Zark's now don't forget these don't go in here so your jar is finished so you can go out of there that jar is all done you'll go into your mods folder and you'll grab mob spawner, Dr. Zarks, and drag it over there. That is it. Okay? That is it. Now you should be able to start your Minecraft, go to login, and hopefully this little girl will run. And let me just open it up a bit. We'll just try and go in just to make sure that everything is working like it should be. Single player. Let's make a test. Okay. I haven't got the fastest of PC, so this may take a couple of seconds. And the graphics may look like crap um, in the video, but we'll just make sure this runs okay. 
just so you don't go, oh, he said it was going to work and it didn't. Well, oh yeah, I'm looking a bit gooey in here, sorry. Let's just see if I can find a creature. Ouch. Let's have a look. Looking for a mo creatures. There we go. In the sea there. You might not be able to see them, but I can. There's stingrays. So, that works. That's the easy bit, okay? Now, let's go on to your server, okay? Now, the server is actually really quite easy to do. You'll need to go back into here, grab the forge, grab the mo creatures, and you'll have to go and grab the actual file itself um, from the Minecraft page. Um, hang on one tick. Let me just see if I can find it here. Minecraft.net. Okay, and go into download, and in download you should see. Now don't don't grab um, the exe file. You'll need the zip. Okay, so grab that one, download that. That will give you what you need. So in the server files, I've got I've got one called Runback. Now you don't have to have this, but um, I'll show you what it looks like. That's all it is. That helps my machine to run um, smoothly. It puts the right amount of, of MIG into the Java um, to, to run it without crashing my PC. Um, and I don't like to have the GUI up, so no GUI at the end, okay? Now, what you need to do is, you can make yourself a folder literally anywhere. It doesn't have to be anywhere special, so let's just make it in my Minecraft folder, so I know where it is. And we'll go Mo's, okay? Now that run back you can just drop in there. Um, it doesn't doesn't need to have anything special in it. When you've got a bat file that's in or a batch file that's that's in a folder, if it hasn't got anywhere to go, it will just run whatever's inside that folder itself. So that's why you can make a folder anywhere. Okay. So we need to drop the file over here and open it, same as you would with your normal one. Now don't forget you don't you don't delete the meta inf in here because this is multiplayer. Now all you need to do is grab the forge and once you've grabbed that grab all the files and drop it into there okay that drops all the forge files in and the second one just grab Dr. Zark's the entire thing okay don't forget you don't need to open it out and do anything all you need to do is put a folder in there called mods and you drop Dr. Zark's into it. Okay. Now that is it. Now you run that. Let's just make sure that, that works okay. Now of course this is no GUI, so it doesn't give you that GUI interface. Um, and it, you'll get a couple of things in here when you first run it that say, oh this can't load, this can't load. It's because it hasn't made these files here that you see down the side. Okay, it's now making my first spawn area. And we'll wait for that to come up. Okay, done. So, let's just run up Minecraft. And do the same thing as usual. Log in. And I'll leave this open so as you can uh, on a small size so as you can actually see what happens down in here when you log on. Okay, so multiplayer, this is my server. And you say join server. And hopefully I'll say down here, as you can see, at the, let me just press escape to the long point, down here you'll see that I've logged on, and it'll also tell you that I'm using MoCreatures 3.60, and I've got Forge running, okay? And back to the game, and that is it, and if you actually run around here, you should see most creatures somewhere, let's just have a quick squeeze, just so you can verification that it's working as I say you may not be able to see this it looks okay to me but sometimes when you put it through a video it looks like crap um, okay I'll just jump down here there we go I can see rays Ouch. and I've been poisoned by something probably one of those that all what size there you go Okay, I'll leave you with that, guys. So, um, Dr. Zark has done as much as he can to get this thing running. Um, 
there's also Atomic Striker who's helped with the uh, multiplayer side of things um, done a great job with it so please try not to give him too much grief um, about can you, do this and can you do this and can you do that he is still going to be putting the things um, together and fixing things um, so if you need any help then I'm sure that uh, those guys will help you just post it on there I hope this has helped and um, take care of yourselves let's go for signing off cheers